Hey everyone, it's Ashley, your independent scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Fragrance Friday. I'm so happy I'm getting this done on time. We love it. So as you probably saw from the thumbnail, we have quite a bit of wax to talk about. As always, I will leave the timestamps down below. I'll try my best. Um, separating different categories. Like we'll definitely start off with Scentsy, but then I have a couple candles, like Bath and Body Works type of stuff, and then some vendor stuff at the end. <coughs> okay, let's get to it. So I'm going to start with the Scentsy non-wax products to begin with. I will start off with this because it, these are kind of like hard to store. So like, let's get it out of the way. This is the Fragrance Flower in Orchard Apple and Spice, which is from the Harvest Collection. I think this is maybe still available. Don't quote me on this. This, it's still, like the petals still smell, but as you can see, it's like bone dry. I feel like this went super fast for some reason. And they say these last up to 60 days. And I mean, they're still probably fragrance in the flower. Like if I let this sit out a little bit, which I probably will do. But I feel like the actual oil in the jar went by super, super quick. Maybe I'm just like losing track of time. I don't exactly know when I put this out. I feel like I should put the date on the bottom or something because I feel like I've been really going through these pretty quickly. I just put in Joy and Wonder at work in the bathroom and the oil's already like, I feel like I just did it like two weeks ago. I'm like, holy moly, this is going fast. So I don't know if it has anything to do with like the heat blowing now more versus like before it wasn't really, I really don't know what would make it go faster, but I also had a hibiscus pineapple oh my gosh is that the right scent from the spring and summer collection in our like utility type closet there's no plugins there so I just have that to kind of like keep it a little fresh and not stale that's from the summer collection so I probably put it in at the latest like in July it still is probably like this full so I moved it out to like the open concept kitchen where this was kind of on just like my little lazy susan type of situation um i have that on my counter and so i put that one where this was even though it's not seasonally appropriate i just want to see if it moves any faster like does it have to do with the fact that the closet has like very little to no airflow as opposed to that in the kitchen and you know maybe my work bathroom we're gonna find out so there you have it <laughs> i'm doing a little experiment so I don't know if I'll like replace a wallflower in, or a wallflower, a fragrance flower in the kitchen on that like Lazy Susan, just because you don't get a ton of scent from it. Like those aren't overly powerful filling up the whole kitchen. And I don't want to like just waste them. I don't want to like have them out, just have them out, if you know what I'm saying. So not exactly sure what my plan is, but we'll see. Uh, also, I used about half of the autumn road trip hand soap this was in the autumn road trip cleaning bundle earlier this year used about half of it and then the second half I made into a foaming hand soap so this one is technically empty <clears throat> however I still am using the autumn road trip I really enjoy like the texture of these soaps as foaming soaps they're not quite as harsh as Bath and Body Works soaps but you can still make them foam which is the best part. Okay, and then last non-wax, I have Bright Cider Life Pods. I need to update my spreadsheet. I have a tracking spreadsheet down below for pod strength. These lasted a decent amount of time. They probably started medium to high, and I feel like they kind of declined somewhat quickly, but they lasted for a while. Like, I feel like with my pods after doing this like pod testing, <laughs> technique for quite a while now what I do is I like rotate them into different spots so I start them in my open concept I move them into like the air purifier I test them in different rooms that get smaller and smaller as I go on because of course they probably have less fragrance in different rooms they perform differently so that's why I like to rotate them um and as these pods go on they truly at least from my experience they've been 
changing their scent a little bit. So like this one may start out super apple-y and then maybe as it goes, the pumpkin comes out a little bit. And then like once it's blown off all those, maybe like the bakery remains. So <clears throat> it's been pretty interesting, <clears throat> but I would say these were like a medium, medium high to start and then kind of tapered to more like a medium low. Um, <clears throat> This is my like all time favorite scent. <laughs> I really, really like this scent. So I will probably buy a couple of those if they discount them when they do their like going away, these scents are discontinuing sale. Hopefully that's happening. Um, I'll probably stock up on a couple of bright side of luck. Okay, let's talk wax. So emptied out Olaf warm hugs. This one is really good. Um, Corey, we got this in Corey's club and he shared this one. And then shortly after I was like, we already have an open bar. Let's just put it in the bedroom. So we did it in the bedroom to finish it up. It's kind of similar to fresh ice. If you guys are similar with fresh ice that you can not get at the current time. Um, but this, you can still add to your club. You may be able to still buy it on the website. I'll leave my info link down below. <clears throat> it's like a minty scent. Fresh Ice is a little bit fresher, and this one's a little bit, I wouldn't say it leans bakery per se, but it's just a little bit like softer, but just that hint of mint, which I love in the bedroom. And then also I only had two cubes left of this, so I finished it up. It's aloe water and cucumber. Such a fresh scent, such a powerhouse. I did it in the bedroom because I only had two cubes left, and I was like, I don't want to do this in my open concept right now. Um, but it, it's so fresh. It absolutely blew. Like you could smell it wafting out of the bedroom. It was overtaking the scents around it. The notes on it are kind of funky, I'll be honest. Um, it's aloe water, cucumber peel, palm frond, and pineapple nectar. You, this is kind of one of those scents you have to smell to get the gist of it. It's really super fresh though. If you love fresh scents, especially more like springy, summery, um, almost borderline fruity, but it's definitely fresh. It's really, really good and it's strong. Okay, so tonight we have, I feel like I should go in the opposite order of like what I started out the week with and where, where we're at now. So, okay, I worked on some of my bricks However, I didn't bring them up here. So maybe I should just address them. I've been trying to do like half of my living dining area, those more like seasonal scents. And then right in the kitchen, I've been trying to do some bakery. So I worked on almond croissant. This is good. I did four cubes. I don't, I think I had two maybe missing already. And then I did two more. <clears throat> that sounds right. This is really good. It's just like cinnamon sugar croissant. Like it's really generic and basic, but it's really good. So I did that in the kitchen, worked on it a little bit. I also tried to mix, I did spiced eggnog and salted caramel toffee for my bricks. I was trying to find a mix for salted caramel toffee, or sorry, um, spiced eggnog to get that eggnog down a little bit if you know what I mean or not the eggnog I just whatever the funky note that I get from it I was just trying to like cut it with something so I tried salted caramel toffee that didn't like the salted caramel toffee didn't come through it was more of the spiced eggnog so then I did spiced eggnog and sugar cookie I should have done one more I did like two to one kind of ratio. I should have did one to one and I think it would have been perfect. I did more spiced eggnog than I did sugar cookie and I think if I would have done equal ratios it would have been so much better. That one was a pretty good contender. The sugar cookie really helped the spiced eggnog in a really good way. It added like that extra layer of bakery sweetness and kind of took away that like note that I didn't drive with in spiced eggnog. So I'll probably try that mix out again. Anyway, and then after I did that, I was like, okay, I think I'm kind of set on like the spicy eggnog. Let's continue to work these bricks. And so then next I moved on to mix salted caramel toffee and vanilla cinnamon maple. That was like 
okay, but the salt, did, I don't know. It didn't exactly do what I wanted it to do. I think I might try to mix maybe more like a vanilla bean buttercream in with vanilla cinnamon maple. It wasn't awful and I would do the mix again versus like doing that one on its own, but I didn't like it as much as I liked the spiced eggnog sugar cookie type of blend. So I worked on all those bricks. Sorry for that long, like not showing anything talking period. And then this is all the wax I worked on in like my non kitchen open concept. So first we did cedar cider and the notes on this are apples, cinnamon sticks, vanilla beans, white cedar. This was good. I had never done this before. It's kind of, I was going to say like an apple pumpkin scent, but it's not really pumpkin. It's kind of like a spiced apple scent but woody at the same time. Kind of similar to apples and cinnamon sticks, honestly, like they have the same, they could be like brother and sister, you know? This one's definitely more woody and I like this one and I could see myself potentially putting it in my club if apple and cinnamon sticks wasn't available. So we also worked on apple and cinnamon sticks. This one is apple peel, white pumpkin, and oak. And this so good you guys this is so good it's so strong it's like the apple that I like <laughs> and it just has the touch of like spices that I enjoy and I think that oak or whatever the wood note is in it gives it just a different enough vibe that it's not like cider mill or any of those scents it's really really good and it's really strong and I absolutely love it. And I have it going in the pods. It's really good. Uh, even Corey said this apple and cinnamon stick scent is really good. It's going in the club. It is definitely going in the club. I did not put it in my club last year. I'm so glad it's back because it is going in the club this year. Okay, next we have one of my mom's favorites. It's Autumn Hearth. And I have some thoughts on this one. I did the wax probably how many days are we through? This is like the fourth bar, so, or the third bar or something, maybe like Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, maybe Monday or Tuesday based on my calculations. Um, I put the car bar in this morning in my car and I think that further cemented my thoughts about it. I could just smell it a little bit better in my car. So the notes on this are apple, cinnamon, and tonka. So some of these, like if you look at this page in your catalog, if you have a catalog, this spice page, a lot of these are like the same notes over and over again. You're gonna see a lot of the same things repeat in the fall winter catalog. It's just what it is. A lot of the same vibes going on. So I like this one. I think where I'm held up it just has a little too much cinnamon in it and it's not a bad cinnamon it's just making it and maybe it's technically like clove or maybe it's the tonka I don't know what it is but it's just a little bit too deep that it didn't throw well in my house and it just didn't like leave an impression on me I guess like it was nice but I wasn't walking around like when apple and cinnamon sticks was going and was like oh I love it I was just like this is nice. So for that fact, it's not going to go in my club. I could see myself maybe picking up one bar a year and warming it. The scent, um, the car bar is nice. It's not like taking my breath away by any means. And it's definitely very spice heavy. Uh, just the gist I got from it in the car. So it's nice. Um, my mom likes it because she's kind of into those scents, but she says if it gets a little bit too spicy for her, she just mixes in a cube of sugar cookie and that like cuts the spice and makes it really good. So a tip from my mom. Um, the next is Spiced Ember Glow. This is one of the new bars. So I had a cube missing. So I tried to work on this a little bit more and now I'm kind of at this awkward three cubes left stage. This is in the spice category it's smoked apple vanilla cinnamon oh sorry vanilla cinnamon embers <laughs> two sober notes there this it's kind of like apple s'mores in a way but it i when i did it in my room in my office here 
when I kind of like tested out these scents, I thought it was really good, not overly spicy. Some people said this was like, oh my gosh, my house is burning down type of scent. In my room, I definitely didn't get that. I put it throughout my open concept, the four cubes. I've done four cubes through all these bars. So same type of, we're starting on the same baseline basically. It was just like very faint. Um, and this was the bar I got with like my kit. It says 721. So this is the one I got with my kit when the new bars were released. So it's had time to sit and it's not like overly old either. <clears throat> I don't know. It's interesting. I don't, I think I loved it more on that initial warm than I did in my open concept. It just didn't wow me. And so I'll probably finish up those three cubes maybe in my office here. We will see. Next, we did jeweled pomegranate and I got a little bit of a broken clamp situation on this one. So jeweled pomegranate is shimmering pomegranate, sugar mandarin, and cinnamon. This was a scent of the month last year in November. Um, I tried a bar at some point when it was the scent of the month. I wasn't a consultant yet, so I didn't get the kit. Um, I just tried a bar of it and I liked it, not enough to put it in my club. They came out with it this fall, winter in like a bunch of the body care line, which I think it would be perfect in because this scent is a little bit too body care for me. It's good. I think the mandarin and the pomegranate mixed with just not enough spice. It like it has a little bit of spice, but just not enough. It's just a little bit too perfumey or giving me body care vibes. I'll easily finish up the last four like it's good, but it's giving me body care vibes. You guys know what I'm saying. And then lastly from Scentsy, uh, we're doing this tonight and it's Icicles and Evergreen. And this was a Scents of the Month from last month, November. It's still available, I'm pretty sure, if you would like to check it out. This is like a tree scent with a lot of like sugar and sweetness added to it. It's really good, you guys. It's not overpowering my open concept. I have four cubes going. I thought it was going to be like choking us out in the open concept because it is a tree scent at the end of the day. But it's so sweet, you guys. It's really, really nice in the open concept. You could easily mix this with more bakery to kind of cut it down, but I don't even think it needs that, to be honest. It's really, really good. So I'm happy I have more bars of this. It's a really, really good one. If you're not into tree scents either, this would be a good place to start. If you just want to like dip your toe in and test out a tree scent, Icicles and Evergreen is what I would go with. Okay. Should we do Bath and Body Works next maybe? And kind of transition into like the candles. Maybe this will be Bath and Body Works and candles. So to start off, I did a hand soap and perfect pumpkin. I mean, Corey helped me. This is essentially sweet cinnamon pumpkin. It's carved pumpkin, spooky cinnamon, and midnight vanilla. I really bought it for the fact that it said perfect pumpkin and had these cats and it was kind of like, and we had Jenny and she was like a baby cat and it was, you know, kind of like a new cat thing. So I really got it for that. If I would have realized that it was sweet cinnamon pumpkin when I bought it, I wouldn't have bought it because I don't really like this one. The scent sweet cinnamon pumpkin. So yeah, not a repurchase if I'm paying attention next year. And then finished up this room spray in sugared snickerdoodle. Don't know if you can see that. These don't say the notes, I don't think, but it's the same as like the candle. It's really good. Um, these last forever. I think I used this for a whole year in the bathroom. I mean, I wasn't spraying it every day by any means, but just when I needed to, but it lasted so long. I think because they're aerosols, I just spray like one, maybe two max and the bathroom's not large. So I don't want to go crazy with it or it will like be wafting for ages and you won't be able to breathe in there. You literally need like one spritz. That's it. So because of that, I think that's why it lasted so long versus my Scentsy sprays. I feel like I can really get that trigger going and like spray a lot out. Um, yeah, they're larger, but also I feel like I go through them faster because you can use it more than this. Like 
it just doesn't have the same effect as the aerosol because I feel like the aerosol just quickly moves through the air and like is everywhere and choking you versus the spray I can like spray it into the garbage can and it just like wafts out I don't know if that makes sense but that took a freaking long time <laughs> and then I have three candles two of them are from Bath and Body Works these are all from my candle project pan so if you watched that video I did not really talk about them there because I'm going to talk about them here. So this went into the crock for the end of its life. It's Bath and Body Works Almond Blossom. So this would have been really pretty with luminary packaging, but it did not have that. Uh, this really had a lot of buildup on the sides and the wicks were really struggling with it. Um, but also I was just like, I'm kind of like really over this scent. And the crock was open. I didn't have anything going in it. So I was like, you know what? Let's pop this in. So this went into the crock and it finished out its life there. And it was really good, but it just got to be a little bit too much. The notes are sweet almond blossom, vanilla orchid, and sandalwood. This wouldn't be bad in maybe like, I don't even know. Like, I feel like even a wallflower might get a little bit like cloying because it was just like sweet and perfumey. But like on and on and on like it was nice for a couple times and I was like okay this scent again you know what I mean yeah it just got to be like a little bit too much so it was nice while I had it though um and then this poor baby also went into the crock this is cider lane this is a somewhat luminary packaging as you can maybe tell I wish like this would have been bigger I mean it looks cool with the leaf and stuff but it would have been cool to see a little bit more in there. Um, this honestly looks like I could light it up. However, it was in the crock, and so I would not recommend doing that. This is Warm Caramel Granny Smith Apple Dark Brown Sugar Ground Clove and lovely, and they didn't bring it back this year. I'm kind of wondering if they didn't bring out Cider Lane because they have Wicked Apple and they're kind of a similar vibe. But Cider Lane's a classic. Come on. So I'm hoping to see this next year because I do not have any more Cider Lane. I have some in wax form from vendors. But no Cider Lane candles because they did not bring it back. And I didn't realize they didn't bring it back until after I had started burning this. And then I did realize, but I already had it in my project. It was getting a little bit uh, puny wicky puny wig syndrome and so I put it in the crock and then I was like well dang that's not coming back and I just put it in the crock but what do you do okay so next we have homeworks country apple butter the notes on this one are caramel apple sweet vanilla and toasted nut so I'm really excited this I hardly ever burn candles all the way to the bottom you guys don't get me started. I don't want to talk about it, but this one I was doing pretty, pretty good on. I get, I, I mean, can you see from the progress lines? It got pretty well to the bottom here. Um, it was getting to the point where I would light it and it was lighting or, um, liquefying like the whole wax pool at the bottom and you could see like the wick clips going on. And I had it in that hurricane from Target. I'll leave it linked. I've linked it a couple times for you guys. But it was just getting a little bit like too risky for me to the bottom. And just because I could see the wick clips and stuff, I was like, okay, I feel good about it. <laughs> We're calling it done. So I could probably put this under the candle lamp maybe. It's pretty far down, so I don't know how good it would do. Um, but I do actually have another one of these for next fall. This is really good. If you see this on the Homeworks website and it's on sale for a decent price, um, I think QVC prices have gotten a little crazy, but if you see it for a decent price on the Homeworks website, I would recommend this one. It's really good. If you like a caramel apple type of scent, I would recommend it. Okay, and then lastly for wax, um, I just have one from the Melted Mousse. I've been really trying to work through my scents, as you can probably tell from my melting baskets. Uh, kind of like in a somewhat of an order of what has come in uh, the oldest to like the newest. So I had this melted mousse lamb cake. This was from the Easter box, uh, but it was poured in February, as you can see. The notes are yellow buttercream cake, cream cheese frosting, and coconut flakes. So this 
was kind of like a really vanilla based scent. It was good, but it just didn't throw very well for me. And maybe it's not that it didn't throw, but the scent wasn't like overly strong. Like it was permeating through the whole room. It was just like a kind of a basic vanilla. So I'm not super upset that I'm gone with it. I just honestly should have worked through it a little faster, but I just finished it up. And then the rest is Rose Girls. So I have fluffy towels on the line. This is from the laundry sampler and boy was it fragrant. This laundry sampler, I mean, I get laundry is a strong scent, but it just blows everything else out of the water. Yeah, it wasn't like my favorite just because I'm not like super drawn to laundry scents, but it was good, it was strong. Wouldn't probably repurchase. Uh, next we have Sinus Relief Eucalyptus Peppermint from the Mint Sampler from Rose Girls. This was kind of like a take on Vicks in a way. It smells like Vicks like really heavily in the bag. However, when it was going in the warmer, it was more of that like peppermint that's really, really nice. Um, like the Rose Girls Peppermint. Um, I thought it was going to be like overly Vicks-like and Corey was going to be like, why does this smell like Vicks? Like this is gross. But he didn't say that. And it actually was really, really nice. I don't even honestly know if he knew that this was supposed to be like Vicks because when it was in the air, it didn't really give that same vibe. So I don't know if like sinus relief is a blend plus eucalyptus and peppermint or if the sinus relief is supposed to be eucalyptus and peppermint. But something that was in this bag smelling like Vicks didn't come through it didn't like come forward when the wax was actually going, which I wouldn't have minded probably, but it probably would have bothered Corey. He doesn't really love the smell of Vicks. Um, but I did it a couple days where I was just feeling a little bit, you know, um, so I thought it would be good for that. And while it wasn't the same as Vicks, I think the peppermint really helped out. Um, and then next did some apple fritter donut holes, finished it up. I've been working on a couple of these bags that I haven't been talking about. I've been just trying to like work fully through them and then talk about them when they're empty. So this one I was working on for quite a while, but I love this one. I went through my wax collection last night and I think I have two more bags of this. Um, cause it's the bomb. <laughs> it's one of those scents where like, if I'm on the Rose Girls website and it's offered and I'm making a purchase, I'm probably adding it to my cart. It's just like the perfect apple and bakery cinnamon. It's so good. Such a good performer too in the home. And then lastly, I love this one. This is birthday cake. This is what I imagine Scentsy's happy birthday smells like. It doesn't smell like much in the bag. It just smells like generic birthday cake. But when it's going, it's really, really good. It's really, really strong. Um, it was from the end of January. So I have it dated 130. So it's maybe about 11 months old, but it actually threw really, really well. I did it one day at work. It was maybe like a couple days ago because I was like, oh, this will be like, a lighter generic bakery scent like you know I like to do those like kind of a little bit under the radar you can tell it smells good but like you can't tell where it's coming from type of situation this one <laughs> it was like so strong and everybody was just like oh my gosh it smells so good in here like what is that and I was just like okay I need to turn some warmers off I went a little bit over the edge here on this one um so that's my story with Rose Girl's birthday cake I was like okay I can't be bringing this to work again um but it's empty I finished it up here at home the um this morning so I don't have any more of this but if I see this on the Rose Girl's website again and I'm making a purchase I'm going to add some of it to my cart because it's really really good and maybe if I had Sensi's birthday um happy birthday and I just imagine they're kind of the same but if I had that one I probably wouldn't feel the need to repurchase this one but I only have birthday wishes and I feel like they're not exactly the same vibe they're close but not exactly the same so that is everything I have for this week's um I was gonna say melting basket weekly fragrance roundup let me know what you guys are melting burning using up fragrance wise down below and I'll chat with you there and see you next time. Bye.